Hello and welcome back to my fragrance channel. I have been so slow getting a new video up, but I'm so excited for this one because this is one of my favorite like concepts in fragrance. I've talked about it a lot on my TikTok, but I feel like it's sometimes hard to balance between feeling this pressure of like, oh, I've got to have a signature scent that everyone knows me by and okay, I see all these people with these giant collections and a perfume for every occasion and that's overwhelming. And I feel like in the middle, there's this idea of like a fragrance capsule collection or a fragrance capsule wardrobe. Um, and I love, I love this concept. So this video is going to be the four like broad occasions that I feel like there are within fragrance, the four like needs within your collection. And a bunch of options, like four or five options within each category that you could use to kind of have a four or five perfume little capsule collection that really like had you covered for every occasion and season. So here we go. The first occasion is your daily wear. Think of this like as your maybe kind of your signature scent, your maybe your wear to work fragrance, just your go-to. So these are ones that I think work all year round. They work in any occasion. They're really versatile. Gabrielle Essence by Chanel. I think if you love white florals, this one is a beautiful option. Um, I especially, I really only like the Essence version of Gabrielle. I don't love the original. This is just such a beautiful, kind of well-rounded white floral. There's some red fruits in here that sweeten it up a little bit. It's just gorgeous. No one white floral within this. I think there's orange blossom, jasmine, tuberose. I don't remember. There's a fourth, and I don't remember what it is. But no one white floral just jumps out at you. It's not like a super heavily tuberose dominant fragrance or jasmine dominant. It's just a really beautiful, well-rounded white floral with just enough sweetness. I think there's a touch of sandalwood in the base of this. This has incredible projection. It projects so beautifully, creates a beautiful scent trail. I always, always get compliments on this one. Definitely one of my most complimented fragrances. And you can see how much I've loved it because this is a five ounce bottle and this is not my first bottle. So I have really been through this one. I have a backup bottle. Um, it's it's so beautiful. If you love wet florals, highly recommend. And I just think that this works so well for like where to work fragrance or just a year round wear because I, I can't imagine a situation in which this wouldn't work. The next one is Roja's Elixir Essence de Parfum. So they have the like parfum concentration and then this is, I think for all practical purposes, it's like an eau de toilette concentration. Um, this one is the epitome of pretty. Elixir is just, it's just pretty. It's fluffy, it's a bit sweet. There's rose in here, there's raspberry, there's a bunch of other, other florals. There's some slight powderiness from some purple florals. A touch of warmth and depth in the base from I think some vanilla and light woodiness. Again, there's so many notes in here that no one note is just screaming at you. It's very, this just smells so put together, so effortlessly beautiful. It's just sweet enough. I think it is absolutely stunning. And especially if you tend to like your more feminine fragrances, I think this one is so perfect. Next one is a recent, well, okay, it's not actually that recent of a love because I sampled it in January and I've just been thinking about it ever since and I finally, finally got it. I tried this one because of Anna Lauren on here. I am obsessed with her. She is just the most lovely, lovely human. Her videos just absolutely bring me joy. She's hilarious and she has incredible fragrance recommendations. And she talked about this as being like the, having some of that Baccarat Rouge like sweetness, a touch of that, a touch of that, you know, light, airy sweetness with some aquatic, fresh, free characteristics. So since Baccarat, the original version doesn't really work for me because it has a little bit too much of that burnt sugar quality on my skin. I love this because it pulls that fluffy, airy sweetness that everyone loves so much and then makes it really fresh. It adds lychee. I think there's peony in here as well, which are two of my favorite notes. It really does have this very fresh, 
slightly aquatic fruitiness to it and then it also just has that touch of sweetness but it's not too sweet at all i think that Greenwich Village is absolutely stunning. I think it would be perfect year-round. Ex Nihilo's Vesper Glitz. This fragrance has just absolutely captivated me. This has yellow florals and white florals. It has some vanilla in it, kind of a powdery vanilla, some light woodiness. I think it is so, so beautiful. It just smells, it's so perfectly balanced. I don't know, hard to describe, but it's the perfect sweet yellow white floral that doesn't pull tropical like the yellow florals in here to me don't smell tropical it just smells oh so so stunning this is exactly what i would want to smell like every day i think it is so so versatile special enough for special occasions and easy enough to wear that you could absolutely wear it to work and just on an everyday basis i think it is beautiful and actually the performance is really good as well. So the next category is your fresh out of the shower, clean, running errands, maybe like wearing to bed, you know, just you want to smell clean, you don't want anything that's too much, you could wear this in a situation where you didn't want to smell really heavily like fragrance. Um, and I just think this is great to have this option because sometimes you don't want anything too overwhelming or too heavy and you just want to smell clean but with a bit of extra something. Firstly, by Rado's Balza Freak, I smelled this and absolutely fell head over heels with it. This has, oh, it's so good. There's some light citrus, there's some vetiver in here. I think it's a beautiful, soft vetiver note. I think there's a touch of, I think it's magnolia maybe? absolutely stunning such a soft citrus perfume with again that soft woodiness nothing about this fragrance is harsh or strong or sharp absolutely beautiful something about it also almost has like a body lotion like quality to me i think just because it's so smooth and silky i think it is so beautiful i also find this fragrance to be very calming and perfect perfect for just you know running at the door every day running errands um so pretty. I would say it is my favorite from Byredo as well. I feel like Joan Malone's Woods Age and Sea Salt fits so well into this category. I will say the performance is not quite what I wish it was, so I always layer it with the body cream, which actually has great performance and lasts really well, and then I spray this on top. This is so beautiful. It's so soft. It just has this lightly woody quality, this saltiness. It feels like, I don't know, being on like an east coast beach just like wrapped up in a sweater um, and the wind's blowing and it's like a little bit salty and there's I don't know this one just that's the vibe that I get I just think this one is so gorgeous I have clearly enjoyed it I also have a backup bottle of this as well because it is basically empty um, love this one but I would say I definitely recommend getting this with the body cream because without it it just does not have enough staying power Alice Brooklyn Myth. I've spoken about this one a lot. This is Biolage shampoo and a bottle to me. If you smell Biolage shampoo, I love it. I've used it for forever. And this just has that clean, musky, floral quality. Has a bit of that white musk um, kind of on the dry down as well. I think it is just so easy to wear. I think this is my third bottle of Myth. Absolutely love it. Um, again, on the softer side with staying powder, power, they do have a body oil though, which could be good to layer. It's so good. If you want something that's fresh, clean, and a bit shampoo-like, I think that this one is perfect. Le Labo's Te Matcha. I have been oh, so good. I've been absolutely obsessed with this fragrance. It had been on my wish list for so, so long, and I finally got it. This is fig. There's some light greenness from the matcha note, although I wouldn't say it's like a super prominent matcha note. It just adds this touch of a green earthy quality. There's some citrus in here and some vetiver. Vetiver actually is one of my favorite notes in perfume when it's done in a soft way. I think it is so, so pretty. It gets marketed like from the Labo as a skin scent. I wouldn't say this is a skin scent. On me, it has actually decent performance, um, like longevity and projection. It's not crazy, it's not anything that's gonna perform super, super well, but it performs just fine, and I would say just as well as any of the other ones in this category, and I think it is so beautiful. It is my favorite from the Labo, which I think is unusual. I don't know that this one is like 
incredibly popular, but I love it. And if you love Fig, I would say to give this one a try. So the next category is your warmer weather special occasion scents. I feel like it's just so nice to have something to put on that's different from your daily wear scent for a special occasion, just because it, I don't know, it kind of like changes your mood, I feel like, or at least I, I enjoy that for myself. So these are warmer weather special occasion scents. I just feel like the, the vibes, you can't have, I just, can't get on board with a year-round special occasion scent because I feel like the vibes for summer date nights or like whatever versus winter date nights are just very different. So anyway, so I have warm weather special occasion scents and cooler weather special occasion scents. These will be the warmer weather ones, so think like later spring and summer. So the first one I absolutely fell in love with this scent and I tried it because of Erin Nicole on here. She described it as smelling like, I think like sunset in the Maldives or something. And I was going on my honeymoon to the Maldives. So I was, I just knew it was going to be perfect. So I ended up sampling it, falling in love with it. It is Roja's 51. This is so elegant and romantic at the same time. This has some balmy florals, some warmth from vanilla and sandalwood, I think. Um, there's a lot of notes in here, as with kind of every Roja fragrance, there's a lot going on, but it's just so beautifully blended, so stunning. I can't think of another word than just elegant and romantic is just exactly what this feels like to me, because it's a bit powdery, but it's warm, it's very feminine, just smells idyllic and gorgeous. I love it, it is love, obviously, on the pricier side, but it is really, really beautiful for special occasions in the spring and summer. The next one will come as no surprise to quite literally anyone who has followed, especially my TikTok, because I just talk about it nonstop. I will never shut up about this fragrance. Mies and Zeres, Tres Cher. It's so good. It's so good. This is definitely the fragrance that I've had the most people reach out and be like, okay, I tried it and now I'm in love and like I'm not using any of my other fragrances because I'm obsessed with Trish Air. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. If you love orange blossom and vanilla and kind of mineral salty notes, this is, there is no, there is no better option. It is so good. This is a beautiful I would say it's equally split between the florals, I think there's orange blossom and jasmine and the vanilla. Maybe a touch, I don't want to say it's a vanilla fragrance because it still very much has this lightness and freshness from the mineral sea notes and the florals, but it does have a healthy dose of vanilla but not a heavy vanilla. It's a touch ambery maybe but in a, in a very light way. So, so good. It is my go-to date night scent for spring and summer, but honestly, I wear it all year round. But I do feel like it's so, so perfect for special occasions in warmer weather. And as always, I have a discount code with me and Zira. It is down below in the description box. Tiziana Trenzi's Cassiopeia. I also got this because of Erin Nicole on here. This is so pretty. It's the perfect balance of having fruitiness. It's got this gorgeous passion fruit note, and I am obsessed with passion fruit, so I love that prominent note in here, as well as this fresh, musky, almost shampoo-like quality, and then some tonka bean that sweetens it up and makes it almost a little bit creamy. I just feel, when I wear this, I feel like I'm sitting at like a beautiful, luxurious beach bar with my hair freshly done, sipping on like a creamy tropical cocktail. That's the vibe. Nasamato's Narcotic V. Okay, if you, I did not expect to like this fragrance also because I don't really love two rose at all. Like I usually am not a fan and this has, oh, this has two rose in it, but it is so good. This is the single most realistic, natural, authentic smelling white floral. It smells like you are literally walking through the most gorgeous garden that is filled with jasmine bushes and tuberose and oh, as, there's lily in here as well. There's touch like a green quality and pink pepper as well. I won't say I get a ton of the pink pepper, but there is this bit of depth to the fragrance and maybe it is the pink pepper. It's giving it a little spice. So stunning. If you love white florals, please order a sample. This is on Twisted Lily. You can always get a discount and order samples with my discount code that is also in the description box. 
And lastly, like cooler weather, special occasion scents, whether it's a date night in the winter or just going out, you know, with friends or whatever, going on a vacation in the winter, and you just want something that's a little bit extra. Genesis by Brandt. This is my husband's brand. So I haven't talked about his brand on here before. I've spoken about it on my TikTok. Okay, I realize you're gonna think that I'm partial because it's my husband's brand, but I think that this fragrance smells so incredibly luxurious. It has rose, it has saffron, it has sandalwood, a cashmere woods accord. It is just, it has like this sweet enveloping, silky smooth woodiness. I love the sweetness in here from the saffron. It has that fluffy sweetness that saffron provides. I think the rose note is perfect. It's not a really heavy dominant rose note. Oh my goodness. And we both wear this, so I think it is straight down the line unisex. I love it, especially for date nights, because it just feels so luxurious to me. Um, you can, I have a discount code, GRACE25, and he does have um, like rollerball, not rollerballs, they're sprays, <laughs> travel sprays, um, on the website if you want to just like try it out. I will put the link to his website down below. I'm very proud, so it would mean so much if y'all were to go try out his fragrance and support. I think it's so good. I really do think it is so stunning and especially if you love your enveloping woody sweet scents. It's beautiful. Selena Exclusive by Parfums de Marly. This is truly my go-to special occasion fragrance in the winter. Anytime I have like a wedding or a more formal event, I, there's almost like, I almost can't wear anything else because this is just my go-to. I think this smells so luxurious. Oh, it's incredible. Roses, vanilla, there's an incense note, a touch of oud that just gives it this bit of woodiness. It's not like a heavy oud. It's a little bit powdery. It's just sweet enough. It is absolutely stunning. I just feel, this feels so just like intoxicating when you wear it. Mise and Zero's For Your Love. Oh, I love this one. This is definitely probably the one that I reach for second most from Trish Air from the Mise and Zero line. This is ambery, sultry, there's a beautiful raspberry note, it's warm, it creates this absolutely gorgeous scent bubble. Something about it really carries really well. I love the raspberry note in here. It's not a bright, sweet, tart raspberry, it's a little bit deeper raspberry note, but not syrupy in any way. Absolutely stunning. I'd say if you enjoy Baccarat but want something a bit different, this has a hint of that DNA, but it's very much its own fragrance. Chanel's Coco Noir. This is definitely one of my go-to date night scents. I always layer it with the body cream because I will say the performance is fine, but not incredible. But I just think this one's so addicting. It's got this soft spiciness. There's clove and woods in here, but it's not, the clove is not on, like an overpowering spiciness. It's just this little hint of spice. There's rose. Ugh, it, it smells so classy to me, so elevated, a little mysterious, but it's not too heavy, it's not too sweet. I think it is so, so stunning. I feel like the vibe matches the bottle. That is my list of fragrances to kind of curate a fragrance capsule collection. Let me know if you have ever tried this or if you like this idea. I love the idea of not having a, you know, a giant collection, but still having options for different occasions and different moods. So anyway, that is all. Let me know down in the comments if there is any video that you would like to see from me. And uh, as always, I post really often on my TikTok. So if you want to follow me over there, that is in my about me. And I will see you in the next video.